Hello everybody and welcome to our very first digital art lesson. Uh, my name is Ben Dumas. I am one of the art teachers at Clarendon Elementary. I want to start off by saying that I miss you all. I hope everyone is healthy and safe. Um, I am looking forward to the opportunity to continue to teach. Ellen and I will be uploading weekly lessons on Parents Square, um, as well as distributing them to uh, the teachers. Um, so please feel free to tune in. These lessons are not just for the students, but for parents as well, who are willing to get creative um, and make some art right now with their kids. Without further ado, let's get started. And we're gonna talk about the very talented Frida Kahlo. Uh, Frida Kahlo was born in Mexico City in 1907 um, in a little blue house, which would later be known as La Casa de Azul. Um, and she was born in that house uh, with her six sisters um, and her parents. Uh, she loved to draw as a child. Uh, she was very creative and she was always surrounded by lots of animals and so much that they wrote children's books about. And this one's called Frida Kahlo and her Animalitos. And this was written by Monica Brown uh, and illustrated by John Para. Um, so this book is talks about her as a child and how she loved to draw and how she was says Frida was special. And it says, this is also a story of two monkeys, a parrot, three dogs, two turkeys, an eagle, a black cat, and a fawn. They were Frida's pets and they were special too. So Frida loved animals and she was always surrounded by animals her entire life. Um, and they were a big part of her life. Um, and she incorporated that in almost all of her self-portraits. Um, so, talking about her self-portraits and her artwork, let's get to it. Um, she painted 143 uh, pieces of art. 55 of those were self-portraits. Um, and they reflected her culture um, and who she was and how she was feeling. She was very expressive uh, with her artwork. Um, I always show an image or a photograph of the artist himself when I'm in the class. So here she is in 1932. Um, her father was a photographer. Um, he may have been the one who took this picture. I'm not really sure. No, he was not. But um, his father was a photographer. Her father was a photographer and always encouraged her and supported her um, with her art. Um, and here she is again in 1939 with Diego Rivera. Uh, Diego Vera was her husband and another very famous painter in Mexico at the time. Um, here's Frida Kahlo in a very long dress, very colorful, I'm sure it's black and white picture, but very colorful, ornate dress that reflected her uh, Mexican culture. And here are some self-portraits that she did. Remember we talked about the animals and how they were a big part of her life. Now, they will be in a lot of these self-portraits that I will show you. So here we have some cacti in the background taking up the entirety of the canvas. It's very important um, to try to do that today when we're working on our Frida Kahlo inspired portraits. So try to take up the entire piece of paper or canvas or whatever it is that you're working on. Here's Frida Kahlo again with her parrot. I love the yellow on that parrot's head and the yellow on the leaves above Frida Kahlo's head and how they really make this image pop. Here's one more, I love this one, the colors of this one, very bright. Look at that bright yellow in the background. Spider monkey, parrot. It says this one was painted in 1942. So, how are we going to make our artwork look like it was inspired by Frida Kahlo? Let's talk about how we're going to do that today. So we will be doing a portrait in the style of Frida Kahlo. Um, here's a really rough sketch that I did with a little cat in the background. And I did the headdress and I put a this bird here on the necklace is very similar to the one that Frida Kahlo had in this. So as you can see, 
Um, so I chose to do a self-portrait. You don't have to do a self-portrait. Um, you could do a portrait of Frida Kahlo. You could do a portrait of your mom. <laughs> you could do a portrait if it's okay with her. You could do a portrait of your dad, of your brother, of whoever. Um, or you could just make up somebody. I chose to do a self-portrait and I chose to get a little creative with it um, and think outside the box. And I'm encouraging you all to do that as well. So I drew myself in the style of Frida Kahlo. Um, I gave myself a flower headdress. I pierced my ear and put a little earring on there that reminded me of Frida Kahlo and the red pearl necklace. And we have a cat named Missy and I wanted to put Missy in there because Frida Kahlo loved animals and I love Missy. And then in the background, I chose to incorporate some cactuses, as you can see, that take up the entire, almost the entire page. Okay, very bright colors. So today when you're getting started and you're trying to take up the entire page and you draw your outline of your head, keep in mind, you want to do it kind of big. Maybe do it somewhere in the middle of the page um, and start with a upside down kind of egg or some kids like to say avocado shape. Um, and that will give you the basic shape um, of your head. And then I like to start with the eyes about halfway down the head and then work down from there. Um, I usually do uh, have the kids draw uh, in light pencil lines first. Um, it's easier for them to erase. Um, and it just gives you a good idea um, of what you're looking at. And then uh, you can go ahead and outline or add color, uh, whatever you may have laying around the house uh, to color your artwork. Um, so please feel free to get creative with it and have an open mind going into it. Um, I had a lot of fun doing my example. Uh, as you may know, I don't usually walk around the street with uh, flower headdresses and red pearl necklaces and earrings, but I had a good time painting them today um, and sharing them with you. So speaking of sharing, I hope you all upload, uh, whoever is willing to share, uh, upload some of your uh, artwork on Parent Square. I'd love to see them. Um, and I look forward to tuning in next week with you all.